Hello and welcome to Tight TV. Uh, well, I had to, you know, um, a cup game overnight, which we got hammered, and I thought, oh, do you know what? It's going to be picking me to for balls on that one and looking forward to Lincoln game. But we have another care ball chucked in because that's what we do at Barnsley. We booked it out at FA Cup now. So, Brian, I'm going to say it's, it's always a pleasure having you on, mate, but yeah. under these circumstances, Another bit of a shit show going off at uh, Oakwell, mate. Um, yeah. Just stuff we'll, we'll get to the Bradford game. Because <clears throat> yeah. back, back on my mind before. So, Bradford game, a lot of discontent. Uh, style of play, Collins, no plan B. And again, fans, I think we're 500, 600 plus. 600 plus, mate, yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of Yeah. Uh, and what I've seen and what people have told me is that lackluster, no effort, and mm. people yeah. walking out when it was three note down. So what we are taking it, Ryan? Well, I went to the game, mate. So mm. um, and I, I wouldn't mind, but I rushed home to get home. Literally flew in door, got changed, no tea. I went to pick my brother up so we could get to Bradford on time and then got served that up. Mm. Um I wanted to take Valley Parade off, so I've not I've not been there before, so I wanted to take that off. Um it's just nice to get to football, isn't it? But Mate, it were, it were a, listen, played a lot of kids, but there's also they're quite there were a sprinkling of first team experience in there. You know, Luca Luca coming back, Colin McCarthy, it's um Sam Cosgrove, um uh, Dodson, uh, Cody O'Keefe. So it's not it weren't like a complete and utter set of kids, was it? It weren't mm -hmm. like we did play a lot of kids and we did do a lot of changing round in to what in second half, but mate, it were absolutely awful. I mean Bradford put a full sense side out. But there's no excuse for that performance. They, they were scared. They looked scared. They were bullied. They were making mistakes. Bradford just hammered us, hammered us, mate. Hammered us. And it could have been a lot worse. The defensive errors were just. You like watching kids play. You know, you could see it cross coming. Nobody's jumped for the thing. Killip's not moved for the first. You know, for the first. He's not even. He's not even anticipated. He's just stood there and let him edit it in. Second goal. It's just. Losing the ball over that side of the field, and then just a simple pass through, and the lads, the lads slammed it in the bottom corner. Third goal, probably, probably the worst at bunch. All, all, all Jack Shepard had to do was clear it. He's come over his head. He's beat. He's beaten the attacker to the ball. Somehow, lo he loses the ball, then slips, falls over. He's then got a chance to to to, to win the ball back. He lets the lad go on his outside, and 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 Killip gets beat on his front post. It's almost laughable how crap it was. Um, and then at 4-0, obviously, stick again, simple ball through defence, mate. Just split his open, simple ball through. I think, is it, is it Cook um, that plays yeah. striker for, for thing? He's tried to chip kill it. Kill it's made a decent save, to be fair. But then we've had a chance to clear it. We'll just let that lad, that, that I think it was number 12, waltz through and slam it into and slam it into the net. And that after, to be fair, mate, after that, I went. Yeah. <laughs> I, went I went. I have. I've seen highlights. So I've seen uh, obviously a door scoring against us again. Far too easy. Yeah. Potter got a good goal towards him, but it was obviously far too easy. Um, it, it, again, it with a style of play, Neil. It it were crap. Right. Yeah. That's what it was. It we had, we just looked like it. I was saying to our kid, it looks like we've just removed the attacking element of his game completely. It's like almost like they've been told, right? Don't attack, lads. Yeah. I know that's not what's happening, but that's what no, it but... looks like. It's like <coughs> we're not going to attack anymore. Bradford made us like give us an absolute schooling on how to attack a, mm. a League Two team that sits 16th in League Two. You know, not taking that away from because they were a better team by an absolute country mile, and they they, they put us at sword. But you know, and they give us a, a give us a lesson in how you actually attack, and they had. They did a lot of attacking play. They, they they tried to run down the wings. They were getting the ball into the area. They were they were prepared to have it. You know, prepared to have decent strikes. You know, they scored five goals. So I don't know, mate. It was just same old crap. Sideways, backwards, side. You know, nobody trying to make forward runs when we were getting sort of close to area. He said he got it ball whipped in. We were tip tapping around edge of area before losing it. It it were really weak and yeah. pathetic and shy. Well, yeah, I know a few 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 of my mates have gone yeah. and uh, obviously I were working. I've seen bits and highlights and stuff what they told me about and rubbish, what I've read man. about and they, they were saying said three no, it says well no desire. It said you know, have have better effort to get there. they've been working on that and yeah, it says they are showing no passion, no desire. It says Collins, rigid rigid football, 
boring football, no plan B, no no motivation. This is for me, Collins needs to go. And I'm like, wow. And it, it and, yeah. and, and kid who I talk to is like most tries to put an outlook on things and try to this is but I can't see this as you look we were in league third and we're going down, we're going down. This is we have on goal difference in, in playoffs. This is we've got Lincoln City coming up, which we will get on to away. Again, another decent football inside. This is they could do a, a number on us. You know, could, uh, so, I'm, I'm going as well, so we'll see, won't we? We'll see Saturday. Interesting. But I, I, uh, think, I think a bad loss Saturday, mate, and his job's at risk. I really do. I'd, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not one for Sackett manager. I think we, you know, I think he was. Um, Shaka's on the board, the board in, in, in transfer window, leaving him with like none of his back three from, from you know, from that were there from last season. Liam Kitchen going up last day, so not an opportunity to replace him. Um, you, you know, we've got a lot of money in, but then we've got no experience in that back three, you know, and it's starting, oh, no it really is starting to show now, mate. It's really starting to show. No leaders, we've got, I can't no, see no yeah. leaders. And, and, we knew Mads were going and Bobby Thomas weren't our player, but we should have done yeah. everything to hold on to Liam Kitchen. But we did anyway, we didn't. So I do I do feel for him that <laughs> way. But also his football's dire. And the worrying concern is that there is not a plan B. There's just like no difference when it's not working, and it's clear it's not working, and it's clear opposition have got us sussed out. We we just don't change it. And it's like yeah. it's weird. It, it I don't know why he can't use his footballing experience to go. This isn't working. We need to, we need to do something else. We need to do something else. At least have a plan B in your back pocket. I understand if he wants to implement a style of play that he wants to play and throughout the club. But you know, ultimately, yeah. results matter. The result matters. You've got you know, to have the performance is, performance is always important, but performance is secondary to the result. And if it's not working, right, then you've got to think of something else. You've got to be able to do something else. You've got to be able to switch it up a little bit. And the only time I've seen him do that was when we, go, we were 3-0 down against Portsmouth and he changed to a 4-4-2 and we went a lot more a lot more pressing. And we actually won second half, 2-0. Mm. And nearly, very, very nearly got back into the game. So it is there, but he just, he just doesn't seem to choose to be able to use it. But like I said, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want him sacked just yet. And I, I think he should have an opportunity to get, to, um, to rectify it. But that 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 period of time can't be that long, you know. No. We don't want to be waiting what January transfer because for me, if you're going to make a change, it needs to be a little bit before transfer window. So you've got somebody in who could implement their they're going to implement their style and obviously buy players to to match that style. You know what I mean? To match the style that they're going to want to play. Plus, plus, it, depends how, plus it depends how long we can It takes to get another manager in because we don't do. You know, we haven't got it takes weeks, don't it? So well, again, we haven't got a CEO neither, have we? <laughs> we'll get on about that. Yeah, we'll get on about that now. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah from... fucking mate, Bradford game, and like you say, it's a bit concerning. But I think, I think one, I think a bad result, a bad, a bad loss at Lincoln. I'm not talking like maybe a narrow loss. I'm talking like maybe a bit of a, a part pacing like we got at Derby, and a poor display. I think he's. I honestly, I think his job's at risk, mate. Yeah. So one debacle to another. Uh, it was going to be the Bradford game and going into Lincoln game, but obviously bombshell with Brock. Barnsley kicked out FA Cup, an eligible player, and I just find it inexcusable. This Ryan, it it's happened absolutely last, inexcusable. It happened, yeah. it happened last season when we were away at Donny and Papa John's, I think it was, uh, with Will Undermark, uh, and he got pulled out last minute when they were training up, he went warm up. And he got pulled in that game. So you think, yeah, they've identified it with that. But to allow this to happen, I'd, I, at first I thought it would be on social media. I thought, ah, it's a fake account. It's, I thought and it then when it were actually on website and then Sky News broke it, I'm like, you're having a laugh. And that, I, I was like, God smack me. I'm thinking, it's so my, cool, my first thoughts were the fans. Because, in my opinion, when we played them at all, well, we should have proved it so we took them for granted. Yeah. So got a draw, fair play to Warsham. But inexcusable when you've got fans taking time off work for the travel expenses to get down there for a journey. Yeah. Just to be a statement front club, come out and say, We've held an internal inquiry, uh, it's never happened again. Where's where's your that where's the police, the bullshit? The fans, the fans That's a bullshit statement, that. Bullshit. Where's the fan? Where's it? 
for the fans that travel down, we'd like to reimburse your ticket. We'd like to try and make some way of compensation to you. Bullshit. And yet again, it's us fans that's been trekked like crap. Yeah. And all this about we want to engage with fans, we want to make this a community club. You're doing everything opposite, polar opposite now. Yeah, I mean, and enough's it's going, enough. It's going back, it's going backwards now. Like you said, last season we got that. Like I said a few times, I think it feels like we've got his club back. You know, we had, we had that connection back with the club, and and, and obviously doing well helps. You know, yeah. when doing do, yeah. when you're doing well always helps. Um, the move we're out, you know, with the fan base and and the, and the connectivity with the club. But at the minute, they just seem to be it just they're just going from one thing to another. They're going from one calamity to another. Um, you know, if you just look at this season. Uh, sorry, last last twelve months, the hex, the hex thing, mm. you know, with a you know a, 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 an out, a, a, an aggressive sort of. Not only is he homophobic, so that has nothing, you know, it goes massively against our inclusive, uh, uh, you know, about being inclusive, uh, inclusive at Bounds AFC. But he's also wanted by the FBI, and we wore their we wore their sponsor. Our football club, our family community football club, had them idiots on our shirts. You know, again, unforgivable. Then we've got the EFL charges, right? The club's yeah. probably done the right thing there to do it, but again, how's it allowed to have it been happened? And how how's it, how how have we not nipped it in bud when it happened? They must have known at some point they were going to get pulled for it anyway. So that's still hanging, hanging over us. And then we've got this: the embarrassment, well, the embarrassment fiasco as well. The fanatics the fiasco treating us fans oh, like the fanatics, yeah, again. Sorry, yeah, Neil, yeah, the fanatics, which you is know just what I mean? an shit yeah. show. Just, and, yeah, just and, being checked like idiots the again. Also. Club have not stepped in at all. They've not even issued an apology to say we're really sorry about this. We're going to be working with fanatics and X, Y, and Z. Nothing. Just complete radio silences. Like you said, there's there's lads that have there's people that have ordered their shirts before season and still not got them. Yeah. And when they are turning up, they're turning up with stuff. Missing turning up with numbers peeling off, blah 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 blah. And then this getting expelled. From a talk, I'm trying to think of a team. Last time a team got expelled from FA Cup, I'm, I've been trying to wrap my bones. I'm sure there has been, but I can't. I can't think. I don't know. I remember. It's there. How have we? How was? How have we played a ringer? It's not Sunday League football. You know, how has it been allowed to happen? It's obviously we know it's Aidan Marsh, and we know the reasons why. And it's not fault on Aidan Marsh, by the way. For this. No, it's not. It's not. It's no, not. Oh, no, it's no, not it's fault on it's, 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 it's down to and and people like it's, saying it's CEO not. and this other. But in it, fact, you can't you can't blame you can't even blame Neil Collins for this. It's not. It's just, no, he can't. Not, no, he can't. It's not. His, it's not his job to to check the eligibility of players. It's that's that's the administration to make sure that that's okay. And it is a bit. I mean, it's a rule that I've never heard of, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. But but someone but in that position of the club should know. They yeah, should know. They should know it. But someone in that club getting paid to be on that and to yeah. be not. And, and and this is and this is. This is the thing for me, what sticks with me now when they're asking for us at the fan experience, what do we need to make it better? What? If, surely you've got people, paid people, employees of a club, what should be coming up with this, these ideas? Yet, a player registration, that should have been, this should have been, you know, what we're recalling, we're doing this sort of a, they should know. If, if if I were at work and, and, and I just like that, you're going to be in for a warning, you're going to be in for, a, you know, gross misconduct, yeah. sacking, obviously, and but. But this is cost, and I look at it like this, mate. It's cost us as fans, yeah. The dignity of the club has gone out of window. Yeah. It's all really cool. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But I'm been looking, and I'm not getting, well, probably I'm getting too far in front. So we did get a result at, at Sutton, yeah, and yeah. we won. And I'm saying hypothetically. It's an if, yeah, yeah. It's an yeah, an if. If, if we won. And again, we all look for third round draw. Open, they're going to get a big team at all. Well, yeah. and then looking at the local businesses, what that's going to benefit from a town. So, you look at the bigger financial impact on, yeah, salmon shop at uh, the bottom of the uh, bottom of road, uh, yeah. the mount, town center to send, the buzz, the merchandise will be possibly sold that lost out on. Yeah. And again, someone could say, yeah, Neil, but we might have only drawn like say, another first division team. I know, but you never know. It's look at draw. That's what we say. It's look at the draw. But when you see a, a brief statement like that, the Belgian internal investigation, things are in place not to make. So everything's like, well, that's all right, man. But what we will okay. do on December 4th, we'll hold the fans for a meeting, though, because we'll address this. 
No, you went. You'll cover it up again and bullshit it off. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked and baffled how we can be in a position like this and be, even be talking, discussing this. Because yeah, it's almost laughable. I it's just almost can't like, admit, honestly. It's almost like unbelievable that we've been we've been expelled from from the FA Cup. I, I just can't get mid round it. I really it, can't. The professional outfit were fielded an ineligible player. It's just, it's just, it's just unacceptable, mate. It's really bad. Um, you know, like you think, well, not to say that we, they don't say we were going to beat something. We, you know, we do no, have a good chance. No. though. you know, they're struggling at bottom of League Two, but it is cup. You know, that we, we saw that against Orsham. Um, so there's no to say that we would we would have definitely beaten something, but I think I think we'd have probably been favourites definitely, and, and again missed out on a massive opportunity to, to to get a big third round tie. And like you said, the knock on effect is not just the football club; it's the it's it's, it's the town itself. Um, yeah, and they also want to be a community club. It's, it's not it's not brilliant, mate. It, it, it's a real it's a real it's a real low point, and I, I'm sure they're not doing it intentionally. You know, I'm sure they're not doing it intentionally, but they are. They're going to drive fans away, mate. And, and as I said, as I said at the beginning of this season, if they drive the fans away again, like they did in, in that, you know, that season two seasons ago, when we got relegated, it'll get toxic. It, it'll be really. It, yeah, it's not about toxic, but it's a struggle to get the fans back because we all we started coming back last season. We started seeing Oakwell getting fuller and fuller and fuller to walk back in the last season, and that. You know that feel good with there, and it almost like we've, you know, we've we've moved on and we're we're more joined up now. <laughs> you know, it's like once bitten, twice shy. If they kind of keep doing it, are we gonna we're gonna lose a lot of fans, mate? We're gonna lose it's, a lot of fans. It's not gonna be the, a lot of fans out of prepared to forgive a second yeah. time round. It's, it. just, it's just one thing after another at the minute, and it? it's just a joke, mate. It's, it's like what comes next. No, what comes next right. when, we sell, when, we, when we sell when we sell coal, cane. <laughs> well, Styles and about. Williams in January transfer window because that's that that's in post, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to want to that because it's it's like you, you can't get any worse for this, can it? You know, EFL charge is still waiting for. Oh yeah, can we'll get we'll get a spell from a, from a competition? And I'm thinking, nah, no, no one's going to surprise me. I don't think because it's like what's going to, what's going to be next after all. Well, yeah. and again, I get where you're coming from. Last season, feel good facts were coming back. The trust were coming back. Now nah, it's distrust all over again. I'm okay. seeing it on socials. Other people will be. We're making national press about this. What's gone off? So again, people fans are going to be saying, "Why should I be paying my money?" Because I'm being treated like a number. I'm not being treated as a fan. I'm not bothered about fancy pints, what pull quick or fancy food. I want a club. I want to go and cheer my lads on. I want to go and have an experience. Not to be treated as a cash cat or whatever you go. Just get your fruit turns down. Pay this or that. Pay this or that. Go to the club shop and buy a shirt, but we don't know when you're going to get it. Don't treat us like idiots because eventually the tide will turn and fans, unfortunately, will say, I ain't that going. Well, just, get fed, just get fed up, mate. Yeah, and it, it's, it's just... Um... Like I say, it's there's a massive disconnect. I don't, I don't think they're doing it on purpose. I just think it's piss poor management at the moment. Interesting thing and as well. Is that uh, they're wanting a sporting director? They are wanting a sporting director. They are wanting a sporting director. Well, that's that, well, that's for me. That's a move in the right direction. A, a football in that. If 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 they're going to get a foot, make sure that that's a yeah, football. Yeah, it's on the it's on the official that that's website. Big, this, well, that's, yeah, that, that's website. Well, that, like I said, well, I've always said, credit where credit's due. It's not all. It's not all bash, bash, bash. In fact, I don't want it to be bash, bash, bash. I want to be singing. I want to be singing Barnsley Football Club from rooftops. Do you know what I mean? I want to be praising them. Um, if that's well, the I case, and I think that's a really, really good move because I think we do need. I really tough. We, yeah, under Kelly, we've missed that. We've missed that footballing knowledge that 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 we had previously. I really when tough, making yeah, decisions regarding players and managers. The link up now. Because uh, I, and I and I retweeted, retweeted it, reexed it, whatever you want to call it now, X tweet, what <laughs> formerly known as this. Uh, and I said, finally, a bit of positive news because we've been calling out for it. I think uh, yeah. we've had Challenge or you, we had a live, and or it might have been Dan. And I said, we need that link. I don't mind a CEO to do the off the field events, 
But yeah. on the field, back link up, we need this. So, according to this, from a couple of hours ago, uh, Barnes Football Club is delighted to be, uh, and this is on the official website, by the way, to uh, delighted to bring to market via our retain partner, MRK Insights Football Careers, the position of Director of Football. Uh, in this exciting creative post, we are looking for a candidate who will work with the board to continue their plan of operating sustainable community focused football club. So again, community driven by analytical pro- analytical sorry processes and data informed decision making. So again, that link up reporting to board. So I'm not going to read every one, but again, I'm going to rep- rep- representing the club and community it serves. I'm going to be committed to a visible presence at stadium and club officers, encourage support and analytics. Negotiate incoming and outgoing transfers, uh, contracts. Work with the heads of the departments for play, uh, further improvement. And that will include women's coaching and youth academy, recruitment, sports science, medical. Work with existing coaches. So again, that link up bridge here. Yeah. Responsible for assuring vision implemented grass monitoring. So, you know, of overseeing of everything. Innovate taking form. Uh, can be learned from clubs around the world, turning those ideas into solutions. Again, cherry picking what can work for Barnsley, performing and ad hoc duties as deemed appropriate by a club. So again, some of what we've been screaming out for all this time. Yeah. But finally that's a, that's yeah. a really good move. If that if that's the kit, but obviously obviously it's on the website. So yeah, I think that's a really, yeah. really good move. Yeah. I think that's a really good move from the club and fair play, because yeah, we, we do we do need that. We do need a footballing person who understand, you know, that's been brought up in the game, that understands the game inside out, that yeah. can bring the right people and make the help, help the coaches to make the right decisions. Because I just don't think Kelly was that person. I think, you know, a lot of time he would just they might he might have been telling him what we're at, what they wanted and what they needed, and he just he, he thought he knew better. But I think we're having a proper football person in there that would make perfect sense to me, as long as they employ the right person. That is, you know. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's often, you know. It, apply for it with links on it and everything like that uh, careers of football all third part applica- applications will be forwarded to football careers for consideration so again for me college without his depth it, it, CEO but not a footballing man for me it was CEO yeah. as a business Which and is we've missed we, we, you do need football is a business so you do need yeah. those people within and the that's why I don't mind I didn't mind him doing that yeah. But don't get involved in football in matters on yeah. the pitch matters. You need somebody to do that the, to keep the money to, coming into the business, is what you know, and obviously making sure we're spending the money the right way. Yeah, as in yeah. non football, you know, all the other stuff, all the corporate and all that kind of side, uh, side of stuff. You do need that, but you can't then expect that person to also be the football person, as you know, be, be the person that's helping with uh, with regards to transfers, you know, strategies, all that kind of stuff. Or, or we're bringing in as a new manager if we need one, etc. etc. Mm. So I think that's a really, I think that's a really good move. And if that footballing person is going to be coming in, I mean, <clears> I've <I'm> read <throat> out of here, you know, and they're wanting to look at other clubs, what they're dealing with. And obviously, you're fetching a, a footballing person in who knows about the game. They'll have your own ideas, depending on where they work before, because, you know, we might have worked some other clubs in other countries. I don't know. <laughs> but if they've come in, they might be coming in saying, well, what about Barnsley doing this way as well? Another footballing idea. I ain't got a problem with that. No, because it's come from not. someone who's like seen it, understands it, played transfers. You know, it, it it'll understand the value on <clears> a player with, with any job, with any senior job, regardless of the business, mate. A lot of the time, what the people are paying for that person's experience, you know, is what they're paying for, aren't they? When you go to a business and you go into a whatever position you go into, the vast majority of the time, they're paying for your experience, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, in, in your abilities so it, 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 you know the more experience that person can bring in from from former roles you know the better why not why not i agree but let's face it it's not particularly working at the moment is it no no it's not uh so yeah we'll part that up for a bit i am going to do a live on friday at 7 p.m uh mm-hmm. so we can go into a bit more detail on things and if all comes out <laughs> i'll pick and we can discuss it so again tune in on friday at 7 p.m we'll be alive Hope to get some guests on, uh, but again, comments and flowing in chat. More of my cup for it. Uh, always great debate. So, going on to Lincoln game, right? Uh, Brian, yeah, uh, again, another tough fix, yeah. Lincoln, uh, no, yeah, the, what's over, mate? 
When I we went last, I went last season as well. It was a it was a midweek game, it was a nil nil, and they were a very well drilled team defensively. Mm. Certainly, mm. they're very well drilled, mate. They're a good they're a good side. Uh, I think you know, I, I think they're on cusp of being a really really good team because if you look, they didn't get beat many times last season. I, I don't think what, they've got special at least, weren't they? Yeah, they were drawing, but imagine if you turn if you, an handful of those draws into it draws into wins. True. And you know that they're going, they're going to be right up there. So I think they've got off to. I think they've had a few a bit more of a difficult start this season, if 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 if, if I remember rightly. Uh, mm. But they're still a very well drilled team. They've just drawn. Were it nil nil? They've drawn Tuesday night with Leighton Orient. Uh, what it Orient? Ah, uh, yeah. Orient. Yeah. Not, again, we know we know that Orient are a well drilled team. So they're not. They're not. Um, they're not mugged by any stretch of imagination. It's going to be a really difficult game, mate. But in fact, we've got a good stretch of difficult games coming up. It's going to be a real test in the old <coughs> considering well, what's, what's happened in recent weeks. So um it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough ask, mate, if I'm being honest. Well, think, Lincoln are in ninth on 26 points, and we're in sixth on 27. So that's how tough it is, that. That's that's how big a game it is. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. how big a game it is. Um and like I said, they're really good at home, aren't they? But we're sold out, haven't we? We're sold tickets out. I, I, I managed to pick up two yesterday because I got put up waiting list and she rang me to say, I think, I think that might be something. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah. I wonder why that happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So anyway, <laughs> I've, managed, I've managed to get two tickets. Um, also, we've got these tickets available, Ryan. Do you want any? Uh, well, this would be before. I'll, I'll tell you now. This would be before I found out about FA Cup. So if I'd if it <laughs> been after that, I'd have probably told her to stick them up her ass. But anyway, <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only kidding. I love the, the brilliant girls. In, in yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, they're brilliant, mate. Yeah, um, um, so yeah, well, well, we'll we'll see. What'll be interesting to see we'll start, what happens, mate? Because if you, if you remember against Orsham, uh, he pushed Williams out to right wing back, and I thought he looked really good there. Uh, it was nice to see Jordan up at right side, right end at field. Um, but with Jack Shepard, Connell start? Um, no, not yet. Okay, I really want him back. I really I'm want him back, mate, but he's just not. He's not hundred percent yet. You can see, and okay. he, he 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 looked. You know, he, he was his usual self, but he, you know, some of his passes were slightly astray. And, um, he got flattened a bit as well in in a few challenges. Um, mm. I, d- I, th- I don't think it'd be long, Neil. I don't think it'd be long before he's back. I just don't you think on bench, then? I- I- hopefully. Hopefully yeah. he'll be on bench. Yeah, definitely. I think it won't be too long till he's starting, but he- he's not quite there just yet. Okay. But it's great to see Luca back in team. It really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably, I'll probably start with Russell, um, but maybe next couple of weeks he-, he actually does, you know, gets his match fitness up to where it needs to be and he can get... And he's ma- not, too ma- not much sharp- uh, fitness, but also his match sharpness. Uh, he's not a million, not a million miles away. He just, he's just not. You know, I don't think he's hundred percent there just quite yet. Um, you said so. You said you play Williams at right wing back. I don't. I don't. This is my question actually because oh. ideally, yeah. But have you seen? You know, who do we play at centre back yeah, then? That's it. Because well, I, I mean, ideally, we need to get Lopatar back because I, I, I rate Lopatar. I thought, I thought he was great. I, I thought he, you know, I thought he managed his area really well. He won. He won the vast majority of his headers. I thought it were really decent. So I think if we can push we can get Lopatar back, then we can push the give me out to right right centre back. Or vice versa. But what but one of you know those two uh, vice versa. And then we can get Williams out to right wing back. I can't see that happening Saturday because uh-huh. I mean I think he can st- Jack Shepard can play in the league. I don't think it crosses over in because he got sent off in Cup, didn't he? He got sent off didn't Yeah, he got sent off, didn't he? Um but his performances against Orsham and against Bradford were Mm. War, woeful. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I really rated him at the beginning of the season, but mate, some of the mistakes he, he made quite a few against Orsham and got away with it because we were playing Orsham. But last, it, it, it were it, it were rubbish against Bradford, mate. I'll be honest, he didn't mm. play well at all. Um, and you know, he, he was at fault for so at the very least one of the goals. Um, but some of the mistakes he were making, he, he did one where he, he tried to like kick it, he went on halfway line, he tried to kick it back over his head. And he's kicked it against himself, and it bounced off him, and their, their attack got through. And the fact that and, and Killick made a great save, full stretch, full stretch, and got his leg to he, he put his leg out, and got a full stretch save to it. Get punished. That would have been very nearly another goal, and he, that was just from him trying to kick it over his head, but booted it. It was like watching Tyson Fury thump his sin. It was like just, <laughs> just kicked it against his, kicked it against himself, and put put give, give them a through ball. So I don't think he should be playing against Lincoln. I don't think he's in form, and I think. It's going to be a struggle. So I think I, I genuinely think Williams will remain at right centre back, mate. 
I think. Right. Uh, it's a shame, really. Up front, then. Cole starts with... Cole starts with, uh, with McAtee. Cole starts with McAtee, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's that's what we've got, mate. Yeah. That's what we've got. You know, Andy Dallas and, and, and Oli Shaw are both out on loan. Although I don't think they were the answer, but they are both out on loan. So we're cut down on attacking options. Waters shouldn't be anywhere near starting 11. Cosgrove. Um, no. <laughs> to be fair, he, did, he, he were trying on Tuesday night. He weren't getting much service. I and think I, he's I a frustrated he player. He shouldn't, have, he shouldn't have taken him off. There were no need mm. to take him off. He should, have him, he should have given him 90 minutes. Um, I think he's a frustrated player, me, Cosgrove. He's just not getting... It's, it's difficult to really judge him because he is he's a big unit. He's quick. He's just he's when he. When I don't think we're helping him out by not giving him service. He's not really getting the service, mate. No, he's not, that's the thing. He's, he has he has had a couple of opportunities while he's been on, and he and, he, and he's he's um, he's not managed to put it away. But there's a player in there. There's a player in there. Oh yeah, did to Plymouth for didn't he last season? What if? Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely goals. a player in there, mate. And he and he, and he, he is a big unit, and he, and he is you know. So anyway, but I don't think he's going to be good enough to start. So I think it's got to be it's got to be McAtee and uh, and Cole to start, mate. Up from Mash, would you be on bench? Bench, yeah, bench. Potentially, yeah. he struggled with the night, mate. Yeah, again, again, if he, he, again he didn't get much service. Get service. He got bullied by big defenders a bit. Yeah, Mash on sat on there. He looked, he looked really small, mate. I mean, it weren't his fault. A lot of ball, you know, there were some balls coming into him, and their big centre backs were just. They were just Not bigger anymore. than him, taller than him, and they were just—they just, you know, bullied him really. And again, you look at coach, you know, to identify that and try and change up a bit, but you know, yeah. there's no point just playing on like we are doing. Cut his feet, you just pace. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Apart from that, uh, it's been a great week, man, isn't it? Really, when you think about <laughs> it, yeah, fantastic yeah. week. Um, it's Kane, Kane coming back, can't he? Because it. it, it Kane will be back, only from his suspension. So I think Kane's gonna Kane's gonna start in here. We hopefully we with Callum Styles and, and John Russell. Mm. And at wing backs, it's gonna be Nicky Cadden, definitely. Left wing back. Um and right wing back. Probably put Cotter in because he scored. Yeah, yeah, one at two, weren't it? Though? And I'm not stuck on Cotter if I'm being honest, like, but uh, maybe it's... I know but I don't think okay. <laughs> I like he does a lot of stuff good, does karaoke, but do, he also makes some terrible music. He's made his passion. But do you know and do, and do you know and do you know this for me? I'm looking at it like now, and I think, and it might be a bit controversial this. I think some of players have lost and this is my thought, but they've lost some kind of belief in Gaffer because yeah, it looks yeah, like chops and change about all the time. It just looks like they settle into a pattern. I think you've touched on it before, Neil. They look like they're playing with with weight up world on the shoulder. Oh, yeah. They look like the plane, the shackle. Yeah. It's almost like the plane restricted the plane within the cell. The one yeah, to do it the that they've been, it, it's been coached into them to not play that way. Yeah, 100%. You can see that they're frustrated. You can yeah. see that they're frustrated. I can see the frustrated with sending us off on the, yeah. the, the Cosgrove sending off. That were, a, yeah, it's just been in first yellow card because he got mm. fouled, but the frustration kicks in. Dallas. A room to have a fallout with uh, Collins, out on loan, out of way. I, I, and I just can't see it. When Cosgrove got sent off, I don't think he featured in the like, next three games. And also, he gets brought into, into his team affairs. I think, and this is, I'm, it's just from a distance, I think some of the players are uh, not really buying into this. Way of style, chopping yeah. and changing, we keep always playing, but we just said it there, always going to be a right wing back, and we're going. Cotter because he scored a goal or Keith, but neither really won because he hadn't really had a full stint on it. They're not being allowed to really play this and uh, play their, their own style, play play within themselves. You look at left wing back, we had it with Cannon when he had it off at Boyle a bit. We brought Dodgson in and then he won't answer. We brought Cannon back in. So again, it's like chop, change, Mr. Bart. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just my thoughts. This is that I don't think that the players are happy with the no. style of play, what's going on at the club, and the run of game time. That's just my thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, mate. It, it, it looks like it looks that way. Mm. I mean, who, who, who is a professional footballer really would want to play like that? Yeah. Boring. Yeah. Not only is it boring, it's ineffective. It's, I, mean, I wouldn't mind if it were if it were working, but. It's, 
It's not really, is it? And I, I don't know. It, it seems to be the last sort of six weeks where it's gone like, that way, where it's gone really, really negative and really sort of playing within themselves. And the game, I really know. The manager, other managers have got a sus, mate. They just put, they just, you know what I mean? Because by the time we've got the ball into a position where we're going to attack, we've fannied about with it across back four. So they've managed, we're not, we're not turning them over. We're letting them get back in. It's almost like we're getting them back in. And they're just pushing up, and then so wing backs are receiving it really high. So that we've, we've no you, no real effect on the game. The wing backs because not they're not getting in, you know, to side areas and getting ball in. There's nobody even when they are picking up that ball high, you know, they're picking that ball quite deep. There's nobody making overlapping run. No, uh, and it just it, it's a frustrating watch it minute mate because they, they they just seem to not ball about lose run out of options and just play a long ball to nobody. And, yeah, predictable, boring, and I think and is, what and I like. What yeah. highlighted it for me when we were at home against Portsmouth, the first half, they were, I think it was the first half of us in. <laughs> I don't know. Pass Bradford, 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 Bradford. Bradford. get a run for its money, mate. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll try and end on a positive note if we can. Yeah. Uh, score prediction for Lincoln game. Oh, we really need three points, mate, but I think, I think we'll draw. I think it'll be. Yeah, I, I, I think it'll be a draw, mate. And I think I, I'm going to say one-one. I want to win, mate. I'd love a Steers win, but honestly, I think we're Lincoln being really strong at home, and with what's yeah. been going on in the background, I think we'll be we'll be lucky to come away with a draw. If I'm honest, that's yeah. not. I'm not trying to be too negative. I'm just trying to be. No. I'm just trying to be, re, you know, realistic, really. Yeah, because it is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. I'm more than happy to be. In fact, I'll be buzzing if I'm proved wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, I'm with you. I, I'm looking at last season as well. Uh, Lincoln, well drilled, draw specialist. Again, a point behind us, and we're in ninth. So, again, I'm not looking at the position, I'm looking at the points tally. Uh, yeah. And you look at, and you you kind of look at the form, a bit like us, one draw and lost, one draw and lost. It's like inconsistent. But Lincoln at home, plus what's been going off, of course, I want Miles to win all the time. But, I think it's going to be a draw. I'm going 2-2. Uh, look, I hope Barnes come away and come away with 1-0. You know, I was looking at the result round performance and like both, but I just think a weight linking, well drilled. Uh, and, and if we don't create all, if we're not in this creating mode, I can see us just being probably like a later on into a way. One yeah. more is going to take a wonder goal or a, a, a corner or something. I can't see how really happening in open play as such, if you know what I mean. So, no, not unless things have not unless they've they've, they've he's trying to change the way things are going. Uh, but we'll, well, I guess we'll see Saturday, won't we? We'll, we'll we'll see Saturday on the strength of it. I don't think I don't think a point away at Lincoln's a bad result because they are really strong at home. Um, you know, I just, we just need three. We, we we just do need what we need. Really need three points, really, don't we? Because we've. As mm. league form's been a, you know, was it been draw, one, draw, loss? It's been yeah, one, one, draw, one, draw, loss. So, it, yeah. yeah, it's fair for attacking, but again, being chopping, changing players about and still learning his players, which you said the other week. Don't bode your right confidence when we're coming into tail end of November, going into December. But, you know, yeah. before you know, maybe that's going to be January. And if it's like still undecided starting 11, really. Well, there might be a mass exodus then, mate. We'll have to see. what we'll see if they'll. For, for, for me, though, for me, we can't that, wait for that live. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, for me, with that, with that though, Neil, we call and stuff like call and Kane and Willie. Just for me, I'd just hang on to them and just see if we can re-sign them in in, in thingy. I don't think there's any point in selling them. The good intention by the, by, by the fee, that's going to that minimal fee is going to cost us a lot more than that fee in losing those players for for last half of the season. Yep. So it's point. It, it becomes pointless, doesn't it? You got you got to do like a, you got to look at. A, it's almost like looking at a P and L at work, isn't it? And you've got to look at it and mm. say, well, we're going to gain this, we're going to lose it, you know, and make and make your decision around that. You know, we're not going to get millions for Cole when he's got six months left on his contract. Same for Kane, same for same for Jordan Williams. So if that's then we're not, you know, whatever fee we could get, is it worth that? Is it worth that to us to lose that player for the rest of the season? Pro- probably not. Is what I'd say. So I'd be, mm. but be we, also know, we well, also know that they're well capable of doing. But in their defence, the club, the majority of the time, they've been really strong at holding on to players in recent times. You know, so you know, 
We'll see. I know Mads, Mads were always going this season, and 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 to get four and a half million for um, kitchen for Ian Kitchen, where you can't you can't turn that down. But other than that, they've been pretty good at saying no to players, aren't they? Not letting them go. Um, so we'll see, won't we? We'll see the we'll see, see what happens. Result, we'll see the result come January. Yeah, see what happens. Be a good in statement and intent by uh, board. See where we're going to go. Still got a bit of money from August, like I said, from them still. So. Mm. We, we will we will see um but yeah not been a been a bit in a different week on it really when you think about it poor result yeah, yeah it can only uh, get better mate. it can only, can only get, get better yeah with three christmas points at Lincoln. three <laughs> points christmas right corner let's get to festive spirit Ooh. uh yeah ryan has always been a pleasure talking to you mate covered yeah, quite fun. a bit in video uh we'll be live on friday night at 7 p.m please join for that uh, if you're going to Lincoln, fair play to you because he's you know sold out, like Ryan said. Via good, another great following by the fans, which we always do. The fans have a life with a club, uh, and I think the club ought to realize and respect that as well. And I'm wanting and I'm waiting eagerly to see if the club, not holding my breath, is going to make any kind of gesture to the fans that went to Warsham on that travels. Um, they should, we will wait and see if it should do for me, but we'll wait and see. Might be the big, big news that we're still waiting for. Anyway, <laughs> one thing left to say. <laughs> That's stuff I said. <laughs> one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>